This session is about uh, digital handcrafts, so a mix between uh, digital craft and uh, uh, digital uh, design tool. So in this class, uh, in this elective, we will work with uh, VR technology uh, to create a new design, new modeling uh, software to create then an artisanal craft object with uh, 3D printing and new technologies. In this course, the, the big value is to learn about uh, to mix uh, digital design and craft uh, because in the future uh, I'm sure that the, the craft will be digital. So in this case, for example, we are working with uh, uh, VR technologies and uh, VR technology is the, the way also to model the NFT or the metaverse uh, technology, the metaverse design. So you can apply for physical objects and also to digital and NFT objects. The idea behind digital handcraft is bringing uh, the, the, the tradition of the handcraft, but using uh, the new tools. For example, laser cutter, or in this case, we're using VR. This particular project, this part of the project is very interesting because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the latest technology of VR technology with the 3D. The students are gonna model, uh, basically they're gonna model a base. With this base, they're gonna develop an algorithm to modify the, this base, so they're gonna program as well. It's a program which is alive and is constantly updating into what the technology is uh, capable of. Virtual reality in today's industry is very relevant because uh, more and more uh, this technology allows us to really um, encapsulate and understand the surroundings of what, uh, what is happening around. The academic essence uh, has to be integrated with these new tools and it's very important to don't lose the perspective of, uh, of the academic excellence that we aim here at IE in all our programs. The key takeaway is that we're moving into a new space in terms of design and the way that we want to visualize the world. Design has always been something that's been very physical and something that you're always very hands-on and so mixing that with the virtual reality space is very interesting because it's not very tangible but it's still all in your face and it's just an exciting venture into new technologies and how we can apply it. But the most interesting part about all of this is, well one is stepping into the VR space for the first time. Um, and trying to translate a lot of the 3D skills that I already have and I possess um, over the course of like design in these three years. Um, that was probably the most interesting thing and being able to actually physically see how your 3D shape has evolved and expanded over the course of the project. I would say the biggest challenge has definitely been translating those skills that um, I know I already have. So. I already do a lot of 3D modeling and it's very similar to, um, I guess the mindset that I have is very similar to using a software called Blender. Um, but translating those ideas into something that seems very physical but um, still in the virtual realm has been quite challenging, but very fun at the same time. <laughs>